The old coot here coming at you with another exciting video. This is definitely coming with me to the gym when I take my showers there. Anyways, let me show you what's going on here. Basically, it's a, I'll step back a little so you can actually see what's going on. It's a, it's one of those like loofah sponge thingies. Very well constructed, I have to say, like just looking at the stitching and the design, I'll show you that in a second here, but very, very well done. Is that Everid West? Is that the name of the company? I think it's what it is. Anyways, we'll show you all this in a second here, but just wanted to show everybody my big body, how much this covers everything, right? So you can pretty much do like your chest, you can do your back, right? And it's got two handles to hang on to. So when you're, when you're pulling it like across your back with your two hands or whatever, you can get like a better grip on it so that it can do what it's supposed to do and actually go in there and, and, you know, get all that dead skin off and like use it with soap, right? So you can actually clean yourself as well. It kind of reminds me of those places in downtown LA, right? You know what I'm talking about? Like in Koreatown, when, uh, you go down there and they, they just basically like clean every single square millimeter of your body. That's what kind of what this reminds me of, but like you can use, like I brought up this little stool so you can kind of see what's going on here, but you can kind of do this kind of thing where, you know, you can go like across your thigh or across like your shins or whatever. Motorcycle riders. I rode a motorcycle for years. I still love doing it. It's one of those things, like if you go out riding a motorcycle or even a bicycle, right, and you're out there and you're in like the dirt or the road or that grime or whatever, and that starts accumulating up like your legs or whatever, you can use one of these and basically just do this kind of thing where you're actually like scrubbing off the grime and the dirt and the dead skin and et cetera, et cetera. You kind of get the idea. Anyways, let me show you in better detail what this actually looks like and what the box looks like here. So let's come over here real quick and I'll show that to you. So here's the box. Love their packaging. It's pretty simple, straightforward, easy to read what's going on here. Everywhere, you kind of get the idea. Exfoliating one-piece back scrubber visibly removes dry skin instantly. This is their uh, heavy version, I believe, which is a little more aggressive, but you can obviously opt for the light or the moderate, whatever you know level of let's say cleanliness you like or comfort that you like. You kind of get the idea. So remove, you know, you kind of you're ba you're basically taking away like any of that built up stuff that's on your skin that you just want to remove after the beach. You know, this is a good idea after hiking, backpacking. This is also a good idea. You kind of get the idea. So benefits. So I'll let you take your screenshots here. You can kind of see and read through all that, how to use basically shower or steam for five minutes. And you kind of get the idea here. It says, do not use soap. I actually prefer it with soap. So, uh, you know, do how, or use it how they tell you to use it. And then you can kind of modify from there. But I actually use it with soap and it actually, it's a little bit of a buffer. The soap is like a little bit of a buffer between the scrubber and your skin. So you're not taking off too much, if you know what I mean. You just, you want it to remove the dirt and the grime, but you don't want it to remove too much of the stuff that's supposed to be there. Just saying. Anyways, okay. So there you go. So, so soften skin, right? Shower, bathe, do whatever you got to do. Squeeze the excess. You know, I'll let you take your screenshots here. You can kind of see what's going on there. Note the scrubber will slightly... Shrink texture will become a fly. You kind of get the kind of get the idea. Do not use on irritated. Very very important. If you had like a sunburn, obviously you do not want to use this. If you've been like, if you were riding a bicycle or a motorcycle and you got into a crash and you have like some you know raw skin there, do not use this. You know obviously this is your caution. Obviously if you have any other kind of skin conditions or whatever. Contact your dermatologist, your general doctor, you know, see what they recommend and all that good stuff. So anyways, here are the sizes, eight inches, right wide by 27 long. Those are pretty true, pretty accurate. And then there's the manufacturer. You kind of get the idea made in China and then it's distributed through San Santa Ana, right? Not the origin of the Santa Ana winds, by the way. That's a whole nother trivia question. If you know the answer of the origin of the, of the Santa Ana winds, Put that down there in the comment section down there below for some, you know, extra brownie points or bonus points or whatever the case may be. Okay, there's their website, Everywhere USA. You kind of get the idea. There's their contact info. Here's this. Here was the front again, so you kind of check that out. And then looking at the product itself, I would say it's definitely true to size. I would say, you know, this is my hand right here, I, and you saw it across my body. I would say this is definitely like eight inches, maybe even a little bit bigger than that. You know, I guess I, I guess it kind of like it tapers right? It's kind of more like a, like a weird oval that isn't complete, you know, kind of a thing, but yeah, whatever shape that is, I don't know. <laughs> but anyways, and then the length itself, I would say, you know, this would be like the halfway point, you know, and I would definitely say like that's 12 inches, right? And then this is a little more. So I would say you're actually getting a little bit more than what the box is saying that you're getting, if that makes any sense. But yeah, I would say like 27. And then here's a 
better looking detail of like the material, the stitching, all that good stuff. Look at all, look at that triple stitching right there. One, two, three. So you kind of see what's going on. And then the rope part itself is kind of like a soft, let's see if I can grab focus here. The rope part itself, which is the handle, which you actually hang on to, it's like a braided cotton, I think is how I would describe it. You know, something like that, like a wool cotton blend or, but it's definitely soft, right? And uh, very, you know, strong, obviously the braids, I think help with that or the braiding of the material kind of helps with that. And then the material itself, you can kind of get a sense of what's going on there. Let me turn the light on real quick so you can actually see it. So that's basically what the material is like. And it's pretty much the same on both sides. So it's reversible, if that's what you want to call it. But it's kind of like a textured nylon is how I would describe it. Let me turn this off real quick. Yeah, it's kind of like a textured nylon type of material. And then here is the tag itself. So everywhere, Santa Ana, right, distributed, made in China. You kind of get the idea. There's their email address. See if I can grab focus again here if you want to go ahead and check that out. There you go. So there's that information. And now you can actually kind of get a, a better sense of like in the shadows here of what's going on with the texture. So it's not super ag abrasive or aggressive. It's just, and then, and then again, it's not soft. It's just somewhere in the middle. And then I guess depending on the level of, you know, scrubbiness that you want, like this was the level of exfoliation. There you go. There's the technical terminology. So you can either get light, moderate, or heavy. I will put a link down below there in the description there for this product. I like it. It's definitely coming to the gym with me, especially when I take my showers there after working out, sweaty, all that stuff. I just want to remove, you know, that excess of grime and grunk that's on my body. You know, that's what I want to try to remove. That's pro probably where I'll get the most, most benefit of this. Also, after like four days of backpacking <laughs> without a shower, hiking, any kind of physical outdoor activity where you're going to, a dirty job, right? Anything like that. Think of in terms of that, you know, that kind of mentality of if you're working a dirty job and you need to really exfoliate and get all that grime and grunk and excess, you know, junk and all that stuff off of your skin and you just want to feel clean and smooth and healthy, this might be the product for you. Anyways, links are down below in the description. I'll also put this on my Amazon storefront. Very, very happy with this product. Very, very happy. So I, I do recommend it and I am going to put it on the Amazon storefront. Check out a link below in the description for that. Also in the comment section. If you have any comments or questions, post them down below. I'm the old coot and I'll catch you all on the next exciting product review.